What's going on, you guys? It's July 1st, meaning that it is 4th of July weekend. Put it in reverse, here! Put it in reverse! Oh, Lord! And usually, holiday weekends are really good at our local flea market, which is where we're at this morning. So, we're it's gonna, gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go find some stuff to flip online for a profit, maybe for personal use. Let's get into it. Mint green vans, which is kind of cool. Ultra Kush. A little dirty, though. This guy usually charges. Ultra cushions. I've always wanted a pair of these. Usually, these she's about ten bucks. Yeah, you should get these. Okay. Four spoons. Got Skecher steel toes. Oh, look at these. These are custom. Custom what? Um. Of oh, seven. I don't think they're Nikes. They're just like custom. Yeah. on your pot. Two and hmm. Always wanted a pot like that. All right, I'm gonna get these. Vans, Vans, Adidas. What are these? Those are Adidas. All right, so four shoes and the pot. What you got on that? Thank you, sir. So none of the shoes we just picked up are really that great. I think we can probably get like 20 bucks a piece for them after fees and shipping. So nothing too crazy there. Looking at maybe a $20 profit once everything is said and done. But we do get that cast iron pan in the background. We're going to keep that for personal use. And I'm pretty sure that pan retails for like 80 or 100 bucks brand new. It's pretty nice. We've been looking for something like that for a while. So free pan and $20 in profit at the first table. We appreciate you. You look out for me, I look out for you. That's right. That's how it works. I don't know if you heard what he said at the end, but he said, you look out for me, I look out for you. And that perfectly summarizes our relationship with 99% of the flea market vendors out here. They know what we do, they know we sell online, uh, and I don't think they really care because as long as they get the money you know, they want for their items, they don't really care if we make a little bit extra on top of that, Definitely, for the most yeah. part. Yeah, I'm gonna buy yeah. the big bag in the morning and I'll walk in on Rick and Morty. I thought that was Rick and Morty. I don't know who that is, but Christmas Squishman. Okay. Okay. What you got on these two? About a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. No, that's two for five. Two for five. I'll do that. All right, we'll add we'll add the pterodactyl in. Okay. You want to add something else and then add ten dollars? Yeah. We'll do the we'll do the Elsa. How okay. about that? All right. Elsa's always no. good. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I had the Oakley hat mm -hmm. and then ping. It's made in USA and it's got the cool ping guy on the back. Okay. What you got on the clock here? All those electrons are just two bucks each. The clock and all that other little stuff over there. Okay, I'll do the clock and these two remotes. Two hats. Yeah, it's ten bucks. Okay. I figured I'd just end up giving you the ten dollars you got from your mom. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, those are mostly pretty good. The Yamaha's probably go like twenty or twenty-five. Yeah, that. usually Yamaha do pretty well for us. Might take a while to sell, but and the clock's nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. See what we got today. Converse's Brooks. Oh, those are nice. I got a lot of good shoes. Huge. You got a lot of shoes. Look, look, the crop. Those are cute. You like it? What's how she wear? Uh, the looks too small for me. I'm going to give it to you. Longer you give me a grandson. <laughs> Not yet. Hey, I'm going to get a grandkid. Some, somebody grandson, commented, somebody you commented know, on our last video and said, y'all really need to give Miss Petra a grandson. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We ever say that. I love it. Uh, we just have to be selective on our shoes. We don't... Well, this is just selectable. I'm pointing at you. Selectable. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Them. I love them. <laughs> these are good. These are four extra one. wide. Oh yeah. All right. I think it's just these two. How much you want to give me? I don't know. You name it. No, you name it. The first person who gives a price is the one who's right. So I usually have twenty-five and they charge thirty for both of them. I can do that. Okay. Thirty for both. Thank you so much. This All right, so like she's one got of these the. That has like from the fair or something, but it's so cool. Is it on? No a, tags. No tag. Uh, yeah. There's a tag it's on. So cool though. Him though. 
That's an old one. Made in Korea? Yeah. It's probably from the 90s. Quanto cuesta? It's in the island, 12. 12. Let's say each. 12. Yeah. 12 each. Uh, 20 por 2. 20 por 2. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. My Spanish isn't great. I think she said 12 each. I and think then, she did say And then I said 20 for both. But yeah. she kind of looked at me funny. So maybe she said 12 for both. And then I <laughs> offered her 20 for both. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody that speaks Spanish fluently can translate if I just I thought lost. she just said doce. And I thought she, you were asking about the one. So I yeah. assumed she was asking for $12 for one. Yeah, $6 each sounds too cheap. And $20 for both is fair. Remember we got two pairs of hookahs over here. They got 35 for these. I've never seen these before. Clayton. They look interesting. I don't know about 35 though. And we have these. These are eight and a half D, women's blind. These are in fantastic condition. Did you do 30 for these? What, you can? Yeah, you okay. Can. Okay. These are good. These are wide. I'll do 30 for this. This is 40. But she said everything was 10. Was she 10. did say that. These are Ariat. Kids Ariat boots? Yeah. yeah, the whole table was $10. I'll we'll go do that then. So we can get one, one pair of these since she wouldn't notice any change. So what do you think? What do you think would be a better better ROI? The Ariat boots or the kids' mere Ariat boots or the women's Merrill shoes? I don't know. What do you think? The last pair of kids' Ariat boots we had sold for like 50 bucks. Really? So yeah, yeah let's, let's do that. But Merrill, these... Merrill's I feel like are from a sector. You can get both and just give them another $10. These are our women's tin. We've got like five pairs of Merrells currently listed. All right, so I gave you 40, right? All right, so we'll just take these. So no change. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Kyrie's back here. Oh yeah. Men's 11 and a half. How much? 45. 45. Let me see these. Don't these look a little off to you? Yeah. Like feel them. I just feel like thin. I'm not not super confident in those. We're not confident we Merrill Cortex Merrills. Men's twelve. So the she said thirty-five on the Merrills and forty-five on those, so that's eighty. And then we got these. These are also new attacks. If we do these and those and these, 100. Yeah, it was 30. These are 35, those are 45. Uh, 35, so you're at 115 full price. Forty-five, thirty-five. That's eighty. Eighty, and then twenty for these. Buy two, buy two, get discount. Buy three, get discount. Thirty-five, thirty-five. So one ten. I'll just, I'll just do it. Whatever. I'm a terrible negotiator. No, I know. Two, Me four, too. six, eight, ten. One ten. Five dollar discount. Let's go. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of these people out here are kind of difficult to negotiate with but I don't blame them you know they work hard to find their inventory and clean it and bring it out here and sell it and they want to make their money I still think that was a good deal I think those Kyries should get us close to a hundred bucks online so that's you know 80% of our money back just with those the both of the Merrells are brand new with tags and they probably retail for over a hundred bucks a pair so we can probably get at least 50 or 60 maybe 70 for those boots uh, but we'll keep you updated in future videos when we actually sell that stuff. This is like the third table we've seen of watches. We don't usually, we're not usually out here. Mm. 
Casio calculator watch. I remember your brother got like asked for one of these uh -huh. Casio calculator watches and it was like I think your grandma got it for him or something. But I think these are the prices on the other side, so uh, Okay. I know how the people sell this in the room. I'm sorry, what? I, uh, 20 minutes, I this is there. Okay, okay. No, 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 how the price. Okay. Well, this is a you think they take like $100 for all of them? No. <laughs> you got any Rolexes over here? What do we even know? Invicta? Yeah, I literally know nothing about watches. I mean, the calculator watch is cool. I was going to get that, but. Yeah, like these cool as Invicta watches. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Citizen. I see, like, this is a Citizen watch. And it's. Two thirty retail. Two hundred thirty dollar retail citizen yeah. watch. But it's all like old though. It looks like like new old stock. Yeah. It's just Swanson. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, that's cool. But see, they can look cool, and they're not actually worth a lot. Like that's what yeah, I don't. Yeah, fashion about watches. watches. This has a twelve hundred ninety five dollar retail. Yeah. So he he's probably asking two twenty five. Very interesting table, but I don't think we have enough money. Probably not. Nor do we know enough. This would be a good like wholesale buy though. Like if you could yeah. actually talk them into selling everything. I feel like I need to research to know more. Yeah. If only we had a watch expert we could call. Oh. $20. What's your junior? How's it going? Off. How much is this one? That one $30. 30 It's Casio. Casio. How did you get all these? Uh, I'm not living in this area. I live in Miami. Miami? Okay. And I have a big store over there and then oh. I'll bring all this stuff to Because it looks old. It's nice. Oh, everything is new. Look. Yeah, it's new, but it looks like, you know, it's been sitting on the shelf you know, somewhere you know, for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. New old stock. New old stock. That's that's right. That's the word. That's one I buy too. It's from the '60s and '70s for my stereo equipment. Mm -hmm. it's brand new, but it's yes. been sitting there for yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called NOS. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I definitely What's his name? Big Hero Six. No, uh, isn't Hero. Name? No, Hero's the Asian guy. So I don't know. BB-8. No, what's his name? Do you know his name? Oh, it was six. Maybe it is. I remember. I remember the. I remember the movie. Yeah. The movie oh, was very good. Other things. Those are cool. Oh yeah. You find those at the bins? No. <laughs> no, I picked up a big collection from my brother. Yeah. Who is this supposed to be? Uh, Quinn. Quinn. Spider Girl. Oh, she kicked. No, That's cool. I'm saving a grown man from a monster. Pikachu. They're a little dirty, but nothing a little washing machine can't fix, right? The, the Grogu? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's do the... Let's just do all the plush, except Bugs. I don't like him. Really? Yes, that's mine. I'm asking 10, but for y'all, I'll do 80. I thought you said 80. Yeah. Matt's content, but for y'all, I'll do 80. 80. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy. Not Game Boy. Cowboy. Um, all right, so we got those four. The Harry Potter banners. Okay. I'll do this little Doctor Who box. The, the TARDIS? Okay. Um, I think that's it. All right. You got 45 for everything. I'll do that. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, if you're interested Thank you. in any dolls that we have, is uh, good centies. Somebody will come and wipe you yeah, out one day. Yeah. I hope so. I got. Anytime we've tried to sell dolls, it just hasn't worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because we don't know what we're doing. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. <laughs> wagon is the best. <sighs> Too bad wholesale's out of business. I know, right? Thanks, wholesale. It's fun while it lasted. So not a bad day at the flea market. I believe we spent a total of $325 on everything you guys saw in today's video. And I know I've said it in the past, but I want to say it again, just to be clear with you guys. By the way, this is like a little neck fan thing. I read on Amazon. That thing was like 20 bucks. It's awesome. It has like different speeds and it just like blows air like up the back of your neck and through your ears and stuff. It's great if you work in a hot warehouse or something like that. So linked in the description down below. But when we go to the flea market, Occasionally you'll find stuff for like a dollar or five dollars that's worth 50 or 100 bucks. Like those are really, really solid finds at the flea market. And we find stuff like that at garage sales and thrift stores all the time. But most of the time people that are selling at the flea market have a pretty general idea of what their things are worth. So they're not gonna sell you hundred dollar items for two bucks. Like maybe sometimes you'll find stuff that slips through the crack. But generally we're gonna look at things where we can 
comfortably double our money after fees and get that item sold very quickly. So that's why we pay $30 for you know women's hokas that we could sell for 75 or 80 bucks within about a week or so. I think in our last flea market video, we bought a bunch of shoes from the sky and some Carhartt hats and, and things like that. And we were paying wholesale prices. Hats were 10 bucks a piece, shoes were 25, 30, 35 bucks a piece. But one of those pairs of shoes, the United States Nike, I think they were baseball cleats, but we ended up selling those on July 4th, funny enough, and those sold for I think $115 plus shipping. So after fees and shipping and everything, we made like $75 on those pairs of shoes. So just because you have to pay 25, 30, 35 dollars for a pair of shoes, as long as there's still profit on the bone somewhere down the line, that's totally fine. I think people have like this idea that you have to like quadruple your money on a on a reselling deal for it to be worth your time. But that pair of shoes sold in two days. So we listed it, took four minutes to list them on eBay, and within two days, we had turned our, I think those were $30, $30 pair of shoes, into $75 in profit after everything is said and done. So look for stuff like that, stuff that, yeah, you might have to pay up for, but it's gonna sell very quickly, and you know, if you can double your money in two or three days or even a week, that's really good, in, in my opinion. And then when it comes to the plush that we buy, the stuffed animals and things like that, we make money on them because we sell them whatnot. I just wanna be straightforward with you guys. It, it is a huge benefit for us that we could go live and whatnot, have a couple hundred people show up, and we can sell Disney plush and Cartoon Network plush and Build-A-Bears and Care Bears and all that stuff for you know, 10, 12, $15 very, very easily. But if you are a reseller that doesn't have a social media following and you're only selling on eBay, you really need to make sure it's worth your time before you dive headfirst into a big deal of plush. I'd be willing to say that probably 90% of plush that we see out in the wild, thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, what have you, are not worth listing. Like they might have a sold that you saw like a month and a half ago that they sold for 25 bucks, but there might be 600 of that plush listed for sale on eBay and only one is sold in the last 90 days. So that's obviously not going to be worth your time. So if you want to get into plush, if you can get them super cheap, you know, buy them and just look look them up later. That's what we do when we go to the bins because we can get a whole trash bag for a dollar. It's so cheap. I'm just going to buy everything and then just worry about it later. But if you're at the flea market paying, you know, two, three, four, five, ten bucks a piece for plush, really make sure you know what you're doing. I don't want you guys to fill your eBay store with a bunch of worthless plush and then wonder why they're not selling. We also bought those two Yamaha remote controls as well as the flip clock and a couple hats from Zoe for like ten bucks. Remotes can be good, but you really need to look up comps on those. I think the comps on the Yamahas were pretty good. I didn't look them up at the time, but it looks like we can probably get about 15 to $18 for each one of those. Sale through rate is decent. I think it's like 30 to 50% on, on either one of them. So they'll probably sell within 60 or 90 days over on eBay. So two bucks a piece on those was pretty good. The clock we got, unfortunately, does not work. The radio works, but the actual clock portion doesn't. And I cannot find a single one of those clocks listed on eBay nor can I find one that is sold in 90 days or even using the eBay research tool that goes back 12 months. There's none of that model clock that have sold. So I don't know if it's completely worthless and I should just toss it or I should list it for like $500 because I have the only one in the world apparently. So gonna look into that a little bit more in the future, but generally those flip clocks with the numbers that flip instead of they're not digital, uh, those can be worth a good amount of money. We bought one at the flea market a couple weeks ago um, I don't think we've sold it yet, but comps on that are like 60 to 90 bucks, depending on the condition. So be on the lookout for those flip clocks. They do pretty well. I think that's it for explaining our haul today. I think we found some good stuff. Certainly not our best flea market trip ever, but I still think it's worth the watch. You might learn a couple things. I do want to share with you guys something interesting. Uh, a couple months ago, well, actually probably like a year ago, I posted on Instagram that I was looking for a sealed copy of Tom Hanks' Forrest Gump on VHS because it's my favorite movie in the whole world. I've watched it probably a thousand times. Times, literally no exaggeration uh, and I wanted a sealed one so I could look at getting it graded to add to a collection and I had uh, Kevin Commonwealth Picker sent me one for free and somebody else I, sold one to me for like 10 bucks or something and I had both of them here and I'm finally getting around to sending them in for grading they're brand new sealed this was the one I got from Kevin this is the blockbuster version so it was for sale at blockbuster brand new sealed still got the watermarks and everything it's in Looks to be in really great condition. I don't know very much about grading VHS tapes. And this one's just the standard, the, the standard Paramount version. So I, I'm sending both of these into Beckett. It's a grading company that will look at the seal and the tape itself and give it a, a grade and then put it in a nice hard acrylic case. In terms of value, I have no idea what they're worth. I haven't even looked on eBay to see if there's sealed graded copies of Forrest Gump for sale. But 
I think one of these is gonna be, whichever one grades the highest is gonna be the one that I'm gonna keep for personal use. And then the other one I'm gonna to attempt to sell on eBay. Grading is very expensive. I think I, it was like $75 each just to send them in to get them graded. You still have to pay shipping on top of that. Uh, and there was like shipping to get it back. So all in, it was like, I think $179 for two of them to get it graded. And this is the first grading experiment that I've ever done. So a little nervous, but hopefully one or both of them will grade high enough that I could sell it and make most of that money back and then end up with a free sealed graded copy of Forrest Gump for my collection later on. But uh, drop a comment on the video if you guys have ever experimented with any of the grading companies for VHS tapes or sports cards or anything like that. Again, I've never done it before, but I'm excited to see what these come back at. We've also been working on FlipCon swag bags lately, like buying stuff to put in the swag bags at FlipCon, which is a in-person reseller networking event that Haley and I are hosting in Charlotte, North Carolina, August 9th through the 12th. Get your tickets down below. But we got some FlipCon koozies. These turned out really nice. And I also found these little um, keychain black lights. They like shine black light. Black light is really useful. You can uh, use it to tell if green glass is uranium glass. You can shine this on, on uranium glass and it'll glow. You can also check Jordans for like ghost stitching and things like that. So I thought this was a little handy thing to add in the box. We got these on Amazon. I think they were like $1.20 a piece. The koozies were like $1.75 a piece or something like that. We also got some other things, but those are two of the coolest things I found so far. I also made FlipCon stickers this year but I forgot to double check the dimensions on them when I got them, so they ended up super tiny. We're still gonna put them in the bag, you know, whatever, but it's kind of hard to read. Uh, we got more stickers as well that are a little bit bigger, but mistake on my part, it's fine, we're all human. So at the time of filming this video, it's currently Thursday, July 6th at 10.56 a.m. Commonwealth Picker is currently at 99,800 subscribers. He's 200 subscribers away from hitting 100,000. So I'm sure he's gonna get there eventually. Maybe he'll get there before you guys even see this video. I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but I do wanna extend a arm of congratulations to Kevin. I know it is certainly not easy uh, to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. YouTube is by far the most difficult platform to grow an audience on. TikTok's relatively easy, Instagram's relatively easy, YouTube is a doozy. So I know from firsthand experience how hard that is. So Kevin, congratulations, man. I, I know it's been a long road. I know you've done a lot of work to, to get to this point. So just very proud of you. Um, and I look forward to continuing to watch your channel for years and years to come. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video on our channel. Really appreciate you guys. Also, again, link this thing in the description down below. It's awesome. You should definitely buy one. Affiliate link. I think I get like 40 cents per one of these that I sell, full transparency. Thank you guys so much for watching, you're the best. We will catch you on the next one. Oh.